In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a rhinestone pattern. Now the first thing we need to do is get a circle the size of our rhinestone. So if we take the circle tool here and just holding down the shift key which will keep it actually circular I'm just going to drag out a small circle. Now you need to let go of the mouse button before you let go of the shift and that will keep it circular. Now the rhinestones that I'm going to use they're normally sized, well they are in the UK anyway, they're sized in millimetres. I've got my page set on inches at the moment so I need to change that. So if I go to file and down to preferences, measurements and I can choose millimetres for the moment and just say OK. That circle I dragged out was 9mm, so I actually want my circle to be 4mm. So we go up to this one up here, which is the scale window, with our circle selected, and we can just change our height and width to 4 and say apply. And that just gives us a little 4mm circle. I'm just going to move that to one side because it's purely for a measurement guide. I'm not going to be using it um, when I'm actually making my rhinestone pattern but we will need it and you'll see why in a moment. Now I'm going to be doing a letter for this one so we're going to take the text tool and I'm going to be doing a filled rhinestone pattern so I'm looking for a nice big chunky font. Now the one I like to use is one called Vag Rounded. Um, if you haven't got that on your computer you can choose any font that you want to but I quite like that myself um, so that's what I'm going to be using and I'm just going to be doing the letter C for the moment it's quite a simple letter you can use any one that you want but this one's a nice fat one so if we just select that and I'm going to go back to inch measurements again because I'm going to make my letter four inches tall because I want a nice chunky one for um, the rhinestone so we go back to measurements and we select inches again and just say okay and you can see that we've now got the inches now if i was to drag that out to get a four inch size which is what i want i can either drag it on here or go back to the scale window but what you're seeing is actually the size of the box around the font and not just the letter itself and the reason for that is because true type fonts have a space either side of them so if you were typing rows of words they would be evenly spaced apart and you wouldn't end up with all the letters on top of each other so we'll leave that for the moment we'll come back to resize it in a minute now what we're going to be doing is at the moment we can't if we were to take this little circle and make a, a load of those we couldn't get them to fit to a path because at the moment studio doesn't have any way of making a shape fit to a path but what we can do we can cheat and we can use a font to do that so if we just take the font tool and the one that I'm going to be using is courier new because that gives us as an O is an actual circle some of the O's a lot slight ovals but I know that they are circles in here so if we just take that and I'm just going to type out an O for the moment now I want my O to be the same size as my sample now obviously we can see that that's nowhere near so what we need to do is select our text and then go down the bottom here and we're going to play around until we can get one around about the same size as our zero. Now because I've done this before I know that the 24 point is the same size so I've reduced the font for the moment so if we just zoom in let's just find out where they are and then if we move the O just where our circle template is we can see that that is the right size. So the outside of the O, because you see that an O's got an outside and an inside, but the outside of the O is going to be the correct size for our rhinestones that we want. Let's zoom out again. Now what we need to do is we're going to type a row of these O's. So we can select that again and we can just do some more. If you notice when I selected it double clicked we ended up with a green box around it which means that it's live for us typing our font. So we just type, it doesn't matter how many you're typing for the moment, just type yourself a big row and then we're going to drag this little cross box here and we're going to get it to fit to our letter. Well as you can see at the moment it won't work and that's because this is 
compounded it's it's a, a solid shape at the moment and not just a path so if we go up to modify and we release that not only can you see that our box has now gone exactly round our letter we will also be able to fit our text to it so while we've got that selected we can go to the scale window and I want it four inches high and apply now that all that's done has actually made it higher without making it wider it hasn't kept it in scale so let's just undo that again if we lock the aspect ratio and we change it again to four you see that the width has automatically changed as well so that means it'll keep it the same shape as it is at the moment so we just say apply now if we looked at that now we might decide that we don't actually want it as fat as that we might want it more of that shape or whatever you want but you can play around with the shape now because it's been released from its path you can do what you like with it but I'm going to leave it in its nice rounded shape there because I quite like that now select your text again double click it to get our green box back again and just drag let's take it off again let me go back if you just drag this little square down to touch the edge of the line you see that immediately it will take the shape now we need more noughts on there obviously so we just carry on typing because you've got the green box selected you can just carry on typing and this is fitting this around the outside at the moment I'm going to stop there I'm just going to miss one out for the moment now this little tool here if we drag this in you can see it's now through the line if we drag it a bit further it'll go inside the line and I'm going to leave it there but I also want I've got a gap so I need another zero in there let's click off now that's fitted quite well down here we've got a few a bit close together that we might want to sort out in a moment but if we try to click on them at the minute you'll see that they're all joined together so we can't do anything with that but we'll sort it out in just a moment and I'll show you what to do